Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome the family and friends of the bride and groom who have come to be part of this joyous, wonderful, and blessed day, the wedding of Wilfredo and Nadine. I'd like to share a few words. It is a true joy to be with Wilfredo and Nadine, to be part of this glorious day, to be surrounded by family and friends, those who care deeply for both of you. I considered it a true privilege when you asked me if I would officiate at your wedding ceremony. You truly honored me, and I will never forget this day. Everyone who has been married in the state of New York has a marriage license, right? Some folks have it in a nice frame, hanging on a wall somewhere in their home. Some might have it in a lockbox with other important documents to keep it safe. I want to tell you a secret, just between the two of us, the three of us. <laughs> Amen. Regardless of what you do with that piece of paper, it's just a piece of paper. That piece of paper is not a marriage. In fact, everything you are doing today is not a marriage. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a glorious day. It is wonderful to be in this place with all these people, witnessing your vows to one another. But as wonderful as it is to be here, do not be confused. This is a marriage ceremony and a wedding. It is not a marriage. What makes a marriage is what follows this day. What makes a marriage is what you do tomorrow, the next day, the following weeks, months, and years. Jesus shares these words with us. No one has a greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Wilfredo and Nadine, most likely you will never be asked to give up your life for each other, but you will be required to give up yourself for each other. Marriage is not a piece of paper, it is a gift. Wilfredo, today you will give yourself to Nadine. Nadine, today you will give yourself to Wilfredo. You will give rings to each other as a symbol of that giving, as a symbol of your solemn vow before us and before God. You will give yourself body, soul, mind, and mind to each other as a gift for more precious, far more precious than the rings you exchange. Marriage is a gift. It is a gift of yourself. This to one another, that is a marriage. It means letting go of the petty things, like who is right and who is wrong. It means putting yourself, it means putting your spouse, their wants, their desires, their happiness ahead of your own. At this time, I would like my wife Marjorie to come up to read a scripture. This scripture speaks of something the main ingredient that is essential for a marriage to endure. I will read from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It, it does not envy. It does not boast. It, does not, it is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Amen. Amen. So we are gathered here in the sight of God and these witnesses to unite Wilfredo and Nadine in holy matrimony. 
as believers in Jesus Christ, they recognized that it was God who instituted marriage and who said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. The Lord God had formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the men gave names to all the livestock, the birds of the air, and all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the, on one of the men's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. <clears throat> 